Hello everybody, a uh, little video here on spirituality and expectations. Um, David, where does that come from though? Uh, it's been kind of like a month, month and a half that uh, has been a work into. Um, it is the following process of evolution. So before I begin with the slides of the quotes that I have for you, uh, kind of like I want to put you to your place. Why would you want to learn this? Why this? It's kind of like important you to understand of the things that goes on uh, into the relationship. Um, the first of all, I want to tell you to kind of like remind you about the three M's. Uh, those are the three dimensions that the, most of the people are. Uh, we're talking about the 3D, which is the material world. That's the first M. Uh, then we move into the 4D, which is the second M, that is the magical world. And then we go into the 5D, where it's uh, it's the miracle world, where the things begin to be a miracles. And when those miracles comes in, then it comes down into... Um, the first thing when it comes in, it's in a 3D, is you learn the things. you kind of like uh, striving to understand the things, where you can get information, where you can go ahead and evolve, where you can go ahead and improve yourself. Uh, that is the part of the inner work. Uh, you kind of like striving for information. Once you get this information, you evolve, you're crossing into a 4D, and then in the 4D, you get this information. Uh, when you get this information, you begin to have the internal fight within the duality. And is that right or is that wrong? Is that this? Is it good, bad? And when you arrive into a 5D with this information, when you're across, uh, you have to perform. You have to perform on the base of the things that you learn. A uh, huge mistake, huge mistake is uh, within the expectations. Uh, the things that you're expecting in the stuff to happen in a 3D, once you go into the 4D, you will understand why the things doesn't happen within the 4D. On the 3D, you get an aggravated when the things don't go your way. Um, this is one of the biggest parts of the expectations is the biggest part why relationships are failed. When you go into the 4D, you expecting the relationship that you have uh, to go in a certain way, to go on a way of you to go ahead and have what the things you want because of the base of the information you have of 3D. Because you want this magic to be materialized you do all kind of sort of readings or informations or things that you need to do so you can perform this. You kind of like create some kind of magic that you want these things to happen. You're trying to use the energy to go ahead and materialize. Uh, in the 5D though, uh, you have to perform. That means you have to learn to let it go of those expectations. And when you arrive in a 5D and you have a relationship in the 5D, uh, the worst thing that you're going to do that is to focus, go back into the material world. When you focus back into the material world, you actually begin to go back to the old metrics. And your connection is going to be kind of like a little bit go down. Uh, not the way it should be. Um, the most important part that you're going to learn in the 5D with those expectations is not to have expectations. It's time when you're in the 5D to live without the expectations. So I'm going to go right now through the slides that I give it to you. Um, they're very good. And uh, the first one it is expect nothing and you will never be disappointed. Uh, you begin to learn this in a 5D, in a 3D, I'm sorry. Uh, this is when you go apply for a job and you begin to have an expectations about this job, that this job is going to help you, it's going to get you the things. You're expecting to get this job, but this job doesn't happen. All of a sudden, the job happens someplace, somewhere else, 
when this job is actually it's the right place for you and it's the right time for you and you learn to understand this process of uh, expectations is like not to be disappointed you not to be disappointed but the ego wants that other job that other job was a better company was better benefits the other job was with a lot of other things a lot of the perks uh, of it compared to the job that you have right now but when you look at it uh, in perspective the other job all of a sudden something happened the company goes down the job that you have right now is providing you stability it's providing you the best place of the things that goes on and this is why when uh, the expectations failed you learn this result of not being disappointed into the 4d what the expectations does on the 4d it's the fight within the duality each company you want what's going on you begin to go ahead and getting into the positions of the fight between within you that 4d drives you crazy you maybe go for like a here and there here and there until you learn to you know what let it happen what it needs to happen you know what if it's meant to be it will be and this is how you're crossing to the 5d with this understanding and on this understanding into the 5d this is kind of like you know what the universe knows the best the universe knows what it's doing it doesn't matter what i'm going to do i'm going to be where i am meant to be so um the next quote uh, it's realizing that when you release expectations you're free to enjoy things for what they are instead of what you think they should be uh, this part comes in very good into the 3d uh, it makes your life more easier when you begin to understand into the 4d that fight it's stopping you to stop the inner fight inside of yourself with the expectations specifically when we're talking about uh, in relationships and the relationships uh, those are the relationships that you have with others it helps you to evolve it helps you to understand it a little better but the fights are still inside when you come into the 5d you enjoy it why do you enjoy it you enjoy it the internal peace you don't enjoy this magic you enjoy this portions of living worry free uh, and this is why when you go into this 5d and you try to get into this life don't uh, focus of building a house putting the family together and go back into the matrix build the house first in the 5d build it up into the heavens get your house straight out inside of the soul uh, organize the things the way they need to be but organize it by leaving it and trusting it into the universe because it doesn't matter what you're going to do you it's going to be what it needs to be a lot of the people when they focus on this uh, they get into the stuff and the enjoyment of uh, understanding all this is going to bring you this internal peace and that piece is something that you are going to follow this is going to be the road of your path of evolution of the 5d which is you're going to be moving up and up and up of the next stage of you going to learn of the things yes uh, this is a very good quote uh, the best thing in life happen unexpectedly the best stories begin with and all of a sudden the best adventure were never planned as they were turned out to be free yourself from expectation the best will come out when when and from you last expected um it's very hard to do this on 3d uh, and the 3D, uh, you expect in your thought that you put the effort, you're going to get the results. You're going to go ahead and study and you're going to become the doctor. You're going to go ahead and do the things. And 
when the things don't happen, then you understand the part of the destiny that something is not meant to be because you are programmed. Let's say your mom, your dad, they're pushing you, they say you're going to be a lawyer, uh, but inside of you, you wanted to be a singer. So there is a, this uh, conflict in, internally inside of yourself or your life for what you are, you are and what you are meant to be. And that is a big inner fight within the 4D uh, when you arrive. In the 4D, that fight between the doctor and the singer or the lawyer and the singer or for every profession you have of what it's meant to be for you. Um, that inner fight always going to stay because the soul wants its performance. Uh, when you arrive in the 5D, you understand, you know what, I suppress myself all my life. I did the things all my life and all of a sudden things change. All of a sudden the things are different. All of a sudden I understand I have to be in myself. As, and as far as the relationship goes in, uh, you meet this person uh, into the dimensions and all of a sudden things happen. Uh, that's what they call the love of first sight. Um, and you feel this love. But when you feel this love, you begin to have expectations and you're trying to control the person. When you get into the 4D, as far as the love goes in, in there, uh, the expectations ruin the part of all of the sudden. Because right there, it's still the part inside of you of fighting. Uh, when it comes into the 5D, you're going to learn that you have to drop all, all this. You have to drop and allow it to be what it's going to be because of this part. It's the last part. Free yourself from expectations. The best will come when and from you last, from you when you last expected. Yes, uh, expectations will not going to work into the 5D. They actually is going to be like a big uh, roadblock uh, in your relationships when it comes into this. And your point is, is you to go back. You to go back in your road and keep evolving and keep moving into the 5D. It's a good place when you all, when all you have is a hope and not expectation. The hope, where the hope is coming from. Uh, in the 3D, when they tell you, hey, just let the things be. Guess what happens to you? Your ego works on your mind and you begin aggravated of the things that are not as the way you see them. Especially when it comes into a relationship. Uh, you want certain things to happen, they don't happen, you get aggravated, you get into your partner and then the things doesn't go well because you bring the negative part of when the expectations did not happen, then guess what? You are going down into a 4D, the expectations of what the other person actions will be. Uh, it comes in and creates this internal fight between the two. Uh, you have the expectations that the other person is going to love you the way you think they're going to love you, and they don't. And since those expectations comes in, uh, they comes in and creates those fights uh, between the two. Uh, maybe something like you want a soul love, they want the physical love. Uh, maybe you want the soul love, but they just love you as a friend. And this is why in a soul relationship, when it comes in, uh, a lot of the people on this stage, when they haven't realized it, that they have to release the part of the expectation the big part of letting it go. Um, telling a lot of the people to let it go because um, this let it go, uh, I see it in the people when they writing to me is, well, what do you, I have the expectations that he can be like this, or they don't even mention the expectations, but they say it's like, well, he, he should, he must, he has to, she does, she must, she has to, well, that is all you expecting things to happen. 
compared to when it comes into the 5D, if you look at it in this, you leave the hope. Uh, you're living on the hope of everything it's gonna be okay with the help within the universe because the only road between the two partners is to go and look up it's not to go down it's to look up and trust the universe is gonna create the miracle that needs to be happen for the relationship to be healthy to be right everything to come in in the right time at the right place and not to force the things, not to force the physical union, not to force what could happen. Yes, you can get information, you can look at the things, you can work on things, but release, release the expectations. Um, the part of a uh, let uh, and go, uh, that's what this uh, quote it is, simply let things arise and unfold naturally instead of formulating expectations and worrying. Things usually turn out just perfectly. Um, when you give this quote to someone who is on a 3D, what did they say? No, it has to be my way. No, I want to be this. No, I cannot do that. You know what? Screw this. I'm going to do it on my way. I guess what happened? All, fa all goes into a failure. Uh, you give this quote to someone who is into the 4D. Um, they still want to force uh, the relationship. They still want to get the things their own way. And they don't allow to let go of the things they didn't work. Why would you work? I mean, take a look at it for a, a little bit inside of yourself. Why would you work with things that don't work? Are you insane? You keep working with the things that they don't work. If they were meant to, the, to work, they would have work. But they don't. And a lot of the people who are into the 4D, I see that there's internal conflict inside of them. Uh, begins to be more and more, and it creates a more pain and more suffering, and more parts of not healthy life, not healthy relationships. Because they're trying to work it out something that doesn't work. They put all the focus time, effort, uh, money, anything to something that doesn't work compared to focus of the things that they work. Well, what is it working? It's what's working is to let it go and go with the flow, naturally go with the flow and the things, they're going to be just turn out perfectly for you. They're not going to turn it out because whatever you are going to do, it will happen what it's meant to happen. And when I arrive into the 5D, people on the 5D begin to understand this. It's like letting it go. It's a very huge thing of uh, letting it go, the things to happen naturally, not to force. And in the 5D, when you try to force things, all of a sudden that vibration lower it down, it drops it down, and then you're like, what happened to my 5D? What is my higher vibrations? What is going on? It just go back into the 4D reality or the 3D plate uh, of existence, plane of existence, where you focus on the things of what you need to do. As a, a multi-dimensional personality, you know, um, it's a very good time. You can kind of like a, a balance the things. But you need to understand that uh, the 5D comes in is with information of you to perform where you need to perform, not to force the performance, not to perform the actions. And this is why the higher level of uh, knowing, of higher level of understanding, prevents it to your actions, they are actually from looking at from above of a new level of conscious a new level of understanding that helping you to navigate in life 
much, much better. And the last thing I want to leave you with this is doesn't matter what dimension are you living into. Uh, you always want to go by the end of the street and you see this wall. And that is a blocked road for you. The only place for you to look is up. And then you're going to learn this part of life. Want the things doesn't happen into 3D inside of you. You have no other choice but let the universe do its work. It's the same thing in the 4D. In the 4D, once you're getting tired of the duality and you're getting tired of the fight and you're tired of doing the things, doesn't matter what they are. Specifically, if that is related to a relationship you trying to get this person to move. You're trying to get this person to understand. You're trying to get this person. But you got to understand between the try and do with unwritten words, it stays one thing. Learn. And the part of this part of learning is you to learn to trust the universe. And if I do, you working with the universe and if you put your expectations before the universe, your expectations is going to lead you to calm down. And this is why it's important in the 5D. You let it go of the expectations and trust the love inside of you and trust the universe. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm looking for your comments and be loved.